So there's a couple ways to do this character thing where you can tell it what characters you want because I'm sure you want to have it unlocked, right? So I'm going to show you guys the proper way you should be doing this. Okay, so let's uh, create a new blueprint class and it's going to be a game instance, okay? So normally the game instance is a C++ native class to Unreal Engine, but we can script some stuff into the game instance here. So we will call it GI game instance, our game. Okay, so now that we've created our game instance, we can open this. So the game instance is for persistent data across your game. So this is where you should be keeping all of your data that's going to be basically taken between levels. So like experience items, all that kind of stuff. But in this instance, we're gonna store our characters in here. So how you can do this is you can create a couple like interfaces and stuff. So if somebody unlocks a character, they can get the game instance, right? You can get game instance, right? That's all you need. And then you can plug in whatever interface it is and you can tell it to add this character to the character selection array, which we're going to make right now. Okay, so we'll make an array, call it characters to choose, we'll call it. Okay, and the type will be the PDA underscore character data. And then of course, we'll come over here and make that an array. Okay, so this is where you can tell it what characters we want. So now we can get game instance anywhere in the engine and we can get the characters to choose anywhere in the engine. Okay, so that's why the game instance is really good for keeping track of uh, just persistent data. So like get experience. I use this in my game for recipes for crafting. So you start with a certain amount of recipes and then you find new recipes in the world or learn new recipes or whatever. And then you can add it to the game instance. And then every time I open my crafting menu, it's getting the game instance, pulling the things out and then populating my UI with that, right? So that's a really handy thing to do inside the game instance here.